Hey guys, how you doing? Just in Goulburn at the moment, had a bit of a break, uh, had some lunch. My body is a temple. Um, so I've been driving for like an hour and a half or so and got another couple of hours drive up to Bathurst or Mount Panorama, um, which is the racetrack I'm going to see. I haven't seen it yet, so I thought it'd be a good little road trip away. Um, the weather, on the coast was sunny and now it's raining so that's a bit of a shame but hopefully tomorrow will be better anyway um you can drive around mount panorama track because it's a road track um apparently there's a lot of cops and stuff so not that i'd be speeding anyway but just got to be mindful of that and there's a museum there as well i want to check out um should be good to see they've got a bentley in there so that'd be good um Mount Panorama was, I can't believe it's, th 1938 was when it was built and the first uh, race there was motorbikes which they stopped because there's not enough runoff space and it's too dangerous for motorbikes but and the first motor car race was 1938 as well, the first Australian Grand Prix and it was won by an ERA which is the English, English Racing Automobiles um, I'm not sure which one. I think there was 17 ERAs built. Um, I'm a massive fan of ERAs because my dad was into them. His mate used to have one. Uh, the late Dudley Gagan had a ERA. R7B was the chassis number. Um, unfortunately, I never saw him race it, but he owned it for 40 years. Um, I've seen it race, though, at Goodwood Revival quite a lot, or quite a few occasions in England. I'm not sure if I've seen it anywhere else, but yeah, they're just amazing to watch. Single seater, open wheel, one and a half litre. They rev so high, it's just awesome. <laughs> so good. Um, yeah, and driving the Nissan 350Z up there today, which, if you don't know, Australians are really into their Fords and their Holdens. And Nissan came along in the 90s, I think it was 91 or 92 with the R32, Nissan Skyline R32, and then just dominated it. Uh, the Bathurst 1000, which is the race they hold now at Mount Panorama. Um, and they dominated it, and then, so they changed the rules and excluded any other cars apart from Ford and Holden for like 15 years, because they couldn't handle being beaten, basically, because they were getting thrashed, so, uh, yeah, anyway, it'd be fun to take the Nissan up there. <laughs> um, it should be a good day. High performance on the beat. good when you get a good driver occasionally lets you buy it's not hard to pull over for a vehicle that might be going a little bit quicker than you he was he was going fine but uh, it's refreshing there's so many bad drivers on the road so when you get one that can actually use their brain and be considerate of other road users it's quite amazing to me it's a nice little road this Bit bumpy. <laughs> there we go.
random lookout on the way to Bathurst. See what's going on. A bit dirty. I did actually clean it before I left. A bit windy, a bit low up. That's all we've got. Can't read the way Kangaroos over there, I don't know if you can see. I'm trying to zoom in. Get it again. I don't know what. Yeah, training. Not that great view. Thanks for trying wherever we are. Well, we're just arriving at Bathurst for the first time in the whole life. Holden Monaro with a seven litre engine. Here's the stuff I really wanted to see. Here's the Bentley. So huge. And I'm done. But back to the Bentley. I have almost no interest in bikes, but there you go, there's some bikes. They love Tiranas over here. Golden Tiranas. There was a point where only two other manufacturers other than Ford and Holden had one. And that was a Mini. Cooper S and a Jaguar XGS, and this is the Jag.
Well, the museum was pretty good, $15 entry. It's worth going to. It's not a massive collection, but it's pretty comprehensive, so it's good. Just gonna check out the track now, uh, see how that goes. Well, here we go. On to Mount Panorama Circuit at Bathurst in New South Wales in Australia. It feels so weird driving on the track because there's so much of the original stuff there. Oh, quick pole position start. And there's a car coming up behind me. track day one day here you can do them I saw online I've never been on a track day in my life which is pretty crazy to even say that but uh, it feels so good to be on the track and to experience you know like they say obviously it's completely different on TV to actually being there in real life um, it's pretty awesome here it's an awesome location in the hills as well very green and up Mount Panorama Shame this car's going so slowly. I'm definitely gonna have a take. But yeah, this is really cool. If you've never been here before, I recommend it. It's a good little trip to do if you can. A little bit of fun. Obviously, you can't speed, as I said before. There's, there's normal road, road rules, so uh, 60 is the limit. But fortunately, the corners are so tight that it's quite fun still, even at 60. Just climbing up the mountain now. gets real tight and very twisty. Narrow and twisty, I should say. And it's still got two directional traffic, so it's no racing lines or anything. It's not one direction here. I don't know the names of all these corners, but I don't really need to. It's just fun going around. And this is where all the hectic stuff happens at Bathurst 1000. Because of the camber on the corners, it just uh, puts the cars on like three wheels, uh, off three wheels, and on one, sometimes no wheels because they're hitting them that fast and the suspension and everything the setup is obviously so stiff they go flying around these corners it's crazy and this is where all the big hits happen on these couple of corners here but I'm being a sensible person there's a van out here. Hooray. From Victoria. Is that a Victorian number plate? Oh, Queensland. Gonna go at 40 and 60 the whole time, or what? I'm gonna have to just flip around them. I can't sit here all day. This is 
Corner Road straight. I don't know exactly how fast they get up to along here, but it would have to be up to like 180 miles an hour, I reckon, like 240 k's an hour or something like that. I'll chuck that in the video. I'd be mad flying down here in one of those V8s. If I do do a track day, I'd have to make sure I get the brakes checked out or upgraded. Because I don't want to be getting to this corner at the end and not making it. the hotel. That might be where I'm staying actually. I'm not sure. Maybe not. Actually maybe not. It's too fancy. <laughs> I'm staying somewhere. I don't know. I need to Google that. Well there you have it. That's one complete lap of Mount Panorama racetrack. So just been around Mount Panorama. Yeah, it was good. I uh, only saw one cop and he was driving. So yeah, I just knew roughly where he was going to be when I passed him the first time. So that when I was at the top, I wasn't, obviously I wasn't going to be speeding anyway, so it's not a problem, but just making sure I wasn't driving aggressively. Uh, got a mug for my dad from the museum. That ERA I mentioned that won the first Australian Grand Prix. They've got a mug with a photo of it on there. They still didn't know which uh, chassis number it was, which I know is not that significant, but they all had an individual name and everything. So I'm gonna try and find out that and then send the mug back to England to my dad. So hopefully he'll be happy with that. But yeah, it's been a good day. Ciao. And here we are, Ridges Hotel Mount Panorama. And the sun's kind of out-ish. That's where my camera was, so you can see how dirty the rest of the car is. Swimming pool. Won't be using the gym. Sweet home for tonight. Give me size bed. What we do? Communal balcony. How oh, lovely. There's Gomrod in the distance. And the star line over there. Yeah, I just thought I'd book here, even though it's a bit fancy and I don't need to spend $160 on a hotel in Bathurst, but when there's an event on, it would be so much more expensive, so I thought I'd just go for it. Not bad at all. Although I'm not sure about that. <laughs> 